This is Rattel. I was able to listen the SATCOM frequencies and you can see that today we have a music on the SATCOM frequency 255.550. Here we can see both uh, VHF, UHF radios, actually a full bandwidth uh, or full frequencies uh, from the airband up to 500 megahertz, I think. Both of them are with the same frequency range and currently I will show you um, the sensitivity, receiver sensitivity on the SATCOM frequencies and I would say, I would say that the same uh, difference you can find also on the ham radio bands. Um, I have here tuned the frequency 255550, very famous SATCOM frequency. All the time there is some traffic. So also here on this radio is 255550. So let me show you which one is better. Firstly, I will use this uh, uh, Rattel um, tactical antenna. It's a foldable antenna. Yeah, also very good for receiving on the SATCOM frequencies. And here is also ra uh, Rattel antenna this is a three band antenna so two meters 220 megahertz and also 70 centimeters so let me show you the difference then i will replace the antenna or exchange the antenna on both radios you can see that uh, the sensitivity will be the same okay so firstly the rattel 890 Okay, there is not much to see. And now the Rattel 830. Eight ninety. Eight thirty. Eight ninety. 8.30 So definitely we can see the difference that this receiver is better than this one. Now I will exchange the antennas on both radios. So tactical antenna is back on the A30 and the three band antenna is back on the Rattel A90. This is A90, A30, A90. A30 A90 A30 A90 and A30 Well, definitely A30 wins this battle. The A90 is quite good radio, good design, and uh, actually the biggest, the biggest um, 
difference between those radios is that on Rattle A30 I'm not able to save or store the channel names. On the Rattle 890 I do have a, a channel names in it so this is the bigger uh, difference between both radios. Also the Rattle is, is a is is a colorful display uh, when the A30 has only monochromatic display. I think that's a really good to have a monochromatic display, especially if you are outside on the sunshine and sunlight uh, cause that you don't see anything on the Rattel 890 because of this uh, colorful display. So you're completely blind. Actually, on this radio you have to uh, remember the channel names or you have to remember the frequencies because you can store only the channel numbers, not the names. As you can see that also sensitivity is much better here on the A30 compared to the A90. Uh, the size also is a big difference on both radios. You see that the size of the A90 is much uh, smaller than the A30. This is much bigger radio. Also second knob on top. This is a knob for tuning and the tuning knob is missing here on A890 which is a pity because I see very uh, helpful to have a knob on top of the radio not just to use the, the knobs or the buttons here on the keyboard. And the the other very very important feature is the battery you see that the battery on both radios they are completely different and capacity of both batteries here you can see a 4.2 amp hour battery or 4200 milliamp hour battery here is only 1.1 hour battery or 1.2 I'm not sure right now but it's uh, it's a really big difference. I have uh, the both radios um, in receive mode on the desk for a while or for the day actually and uh, yeah definitely you can see the difference on the battery um, capacity. So definitely the 830 wins for me uh, from the practical uh, issues or the for, for, for the practical side of the radio, bigger battery, bigger radio, knob on top and better sensitivity makes this radio a winner for me. Yes, I have to uh, remember the frequencies, but don't worry. I think that this uh, all features in this radio uh, beats the features of the A90. So thank you very much guys for watching this video, I hope that you enjoyed N73.